We're here in a region of northern Australia that gets less than 12 inches of rain a year. We're here so you can compare your resourcefulness to that of a water-holding frog. Is your will to survive as strong as this frog's? Well, consider these facts. During the brief rainy season out here, the water-holding frog gains 50% of its body weight in water. We humans have to carry canteens and plastic water bottles, oh, but not this critter. Then, the water-holding frog burrows into the soggy earth to a depth of more than three feet. Come on, admit it. You'd need a shovel to do that, not just your hind legs. And here's where the frog really leaves homo sapiens like us in the dust, or in this case, the mud. The frog is creating a kind of burial chamber for itself. It's preparing to go into a kind of coma as it waits for the next rainy season. After loading up on water, the frog sheds its skin in one piece. It's a frog skin bag, really, and the frog cocoons itself inside. This frog can stay in its underground den without food or water for two years or more. Could you do that? <laughs> we humans can barely go six hours without a supersized fast food combo platter. Two years? Forget it. When the rains finally fall again and the earth softens, the frog is able to rouse itself out of its self-induced coma. And what's on its mind? Well, the frog has to mate quickly so that its young will be able to mature, soak up their own water supply, and bury themselves until the next rains. So, what's this guy waiting for? Pretty spry for not having jumped for two years, wouldn't you say?